Hello, my name is Lorenzo, and in this video, I'll show you how to create your first event using Event Espresso. For this example, we will create a cooking workshop for Thai food. All right, so let's get started. We'll look for Event Espresso here in our admin menu, and then we'll click on Events. And this is going to take us to the Events Overview screen. Towards the top of the screen, you'll see a button that says Add New Event, and go ahead and click on that. And then this takes us to the event editor. The first thing that we'll want to do is enter in a title for our event. Since we're creating a cooking workshop, let's go ahead and enter in some information. So we'll enter in Thai cooking workshop. And then we can enter in a description about our event. So let's enter in some information. So you'll have an amazing time learning how to prepare spicy Thai food with lemongrass as the main ingredient. All right, so we've just entered in a title and a description for our event. So let's scroll down and take a look at the event tickets and date times area. An event date time is the date and time in which your event takes place. And a ticket grants access to a specific date time. So let's go ahead and update this from the sample information here. And we will select March 27th. And this workshop will start at 2 p.m. So we'll click on Done. And now we need to set the end time. So again, this will be just a class that will be a couple hours. So we'll go back to the 27th. And then set it to end at 4. 45. All right, so we've just set up a date time for our event. So let's update the ticket information for this event. All right, so we'll change this from free ticket to cooking class. And by default, the event will be available for sale or registration once I hit publish for this event. So right now, and then we'll want to block this off approximately one week before the events so we have some time to prepare for our cooking class. And then we can enter in a price. So we'll try $80. And for the quantity, since this is a cooking class, we have limited space. So let's set the quantity from 100 to 8. All right. So let's scroll down and take a look at some of the other options. Here we have a section for questions for primary registrant, and then below that we have questions for additional registrants. By default, when you register for an event, it will be the information will be associated with the primary registrant. If you were to register for multiple tickets, this information would also be associated with the primary registrant. If you have an event where you would like to collect a separate name and email for each participant or attendee registrant, then you'll want to place a check mark here next to the personal information question for the additional registrants. All right, so then below that we have featured image, so we'll click on the set featured image link, and then we'll select an image from our media library. If we didn't already have an image here, then we could just upload one. So we'll go ahead and select this image and then click on Set Featured Image. And here's a preview of what it looks like right here. So let's scroll back up and click on the Publish button. All right, so our event has just been published in Event Espresso. If we'd like to look at, take a look at what it looks like, then we can just right click on this link here and click on Open Link in New Tab. So we just open that link and we can click over here and take a look at the event. So we have our featured image here, which is a, a bundle of lemongrass. And then we have our ticket information, the time for the event, and a basic description about the event. And that's it. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks.